Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. In this video series, we are going to talk about jealousy for men, when men get jealous with a partner. And we are going to try to give you solutions to deal and master these jealousy feelings that might be popping or outbreaking in uh, your life. So the topic for this specific video is why you get jealous. One of the core ideas to break through your jealousy patterns is to understand how these emotions work inside of you and in the collective as well. So I'm going to take you a little bit on a journey here so that we can track back where the jealousy patterns initiated. So imagine that we are in the beginning of the human race, 400,000 years ago in the plains of Africa, and we are living in tribes, right? Maybe in caves, just dealing with the survival needs and the needs for the planet to survive, for the humankind to survive. It means that right now we might have been on the bridge, on the limit of extinction, extinction many times. And so nature is programming us to give children the highest possible chance of survival. So imagine that you are there in the plains of Africa and uh, you have uh, a partner, a female partner, three children and yourself. So the highest chances of survival for these kids is if the male stays present in this relationship, in this family uh, model, right? If that male is going to step out and go and start connecting with other females, for instance, from other tribes, the danger for the family is much higher because of potential, you know, threats, maybe from other tribes, maybe from dangerous animals. So what I feel happened at that moment is that nature gave power a certain form of psychic power, a certain form of energy, a certain form of input and patterns to strengthen the family cell. Why? Because if the family cell was not strong enough, the chance of survival for the children would be much lower. So here is what I feel happened at that moment. At that moment, the jealousy patterns were embedded into human consciousness to strengthen the family, to be able to keep the family together, okay? And so how does it look like? It means that if the female sees the male stepping away, she's going to project a certain form of psychic energy or demand or pressure to control that male, to bring him back into the family cell. So what we're talking about here is a jealousy pattern. Jealousy originally means wanting to get it right, okay? It comes from the word zealous. Zeal. Zeal is like the desire to get everything right. So when you track it back, it's a desire to hold things together, to control things together. So what I'm saying here is very simple, is that jealousy is a positive force. Originally posit a very positive force. And uh, if you transfer the same pattern here, you know, that I expressed for the female, for instance, trying to keep the male in her field, you know, the same goes for the, 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 the male wanting to keep the female in his field. Because if the woman runs away or gets entangled, uh, sexually connected with other males from either the same tribe or another tribe, the chance of survival for the children is much lower. She has to prioritize the family so that the chances of survival for the kids are much higher. So you get that? This is a very simple pattern. So I feel, I honestly feel that this is where jealousy originated. It's a tribal behavior. If you look at, you know, uh, a tribe of gorillas, for instance, how they relate to each other, my guess is that jealousy is going to be present in the same kind of form. You know, an alpha male is, is going to try to keep the females together close to him so that the, the semen that these females will receive are the semen from the strongest, the alpha male in the tribe. Okay, so that's a little bit of a deviation from, you know, human behaviors because we don't have, you know, <laughs> the same kind of dynamics exactly for as, as the gorillas have. But the idea is this, it is that 
um, you know, you are going to, to design structures in nature to give the children the highest possible chances of survival. Because at that time, you know, 400,000 years ago in the plains of Africa, if we didn't, you know, if the children, you know, were dying at a, at a high rate because of dangers from, uh, from uh, you know, being killed by other tribes or being killed by dangerous animals, then uh, the chance of survival of these kids would be much lower and the chance of survival of the human race altogether will, will be much lower. So I feel this is what com where it comes from. So if we fast forward today, the jealousy patterns, you know, probably 90% of the jealousy patterns that are existing today are overdone. It means that they come from situations where they are not really needed. So I will cover that in other videos. But for now, understand that the jealousy patterns first, it's a, it's a positive input in our instinctual nature. You know, there is nothing wrong with the original forms of jealousy. And the second thing is that it comes from very ancient times. It comes from an ancient program that has been embedded in our consciousness in tribal times. I'll see you soon for another video.